uh, the story about Three Sticks got to Texas. Um, it seemed like the process, and, and Karen went through it, just to fill out all the paperwork and everything, it seemed like that process took about six months. Two weeks ago, we got our license for Texas, and since then it's been hang on. Uh, we just been, the support of, of Texas has just been awesome. It's been really fun. We're kind of shaking our head, can't believe, you know, is this really happening and what's going on? Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about, about the philosophy of making wine with three sticks. Uh, we have fruit from the Pinot Noir and the Chardonnay come from Burrell Vineyard with such great uh, terroir, great fruit. Uh, it's a, kind of a slam dunk for us to make Chardonnay and fruit from, from Durrell. To protect this fruit, our winemaking is uh, pretty old world winemaking, very traditional, uh, kind of hands off. We're uh, very minimalist, we do everything we can to preserve the character of the Durrell, of the Durrell Vineyard. We make wine in a warehouse on A Street East on the east side of Sonoma. There is a group of about 15 wine, wineries that make wine in this warehouse uh, complex. It's, uh, some people refer to it as the wine ghetto uh, or the wine, the wine slum, but uh, we have a good time and uh, our focus is not on bricks and mortar but on what ends up in the bottle. Uh, our Chardonnay is uh, uh, fermented in barrel, 100% barrel, about 50% new oak, uh, all French oak, and our wines age in barrel for about 14 months. All the wines we make, we make to taste. We don't have a recipe that we follow. Uh, we don't have a protocol that we follow. We make each wine to taste. The uh, unique thing about Three Sticks is that our Chardonnay wines and our, and our Pinot Noir, we don't rack. So after fermentation in the barrel, that wine rests for the whole 14 months on those leaves. Again, a very old world, uh, old traditional kind of winemaking. Uh, the Chardonnay is a blend of uh, one clone, clone 76 from Dijon, France and then the Wente selection of Chardonnay, which is the old historical uh, California selection that, that all the great wines from California, uh, all the great Chardonnays from California use the, the Wente selection. The Pinot Noir, uh, and we have a chance to taste two vintages of Pinot Noir, so it's gonna be really neat to compare two different years. A cool year like 06, with a warmer year and a longer growing season in 07. Uh, the Pinot Noir are uh, de-stemmed only. We don't crush any grapes. They're de-stemmed directly into an uh, open top fermenter where they're punched down by hand when the alcoholic fermentation is completed. Uh, the, the fermentation tank is drained into an old-fashioned basket press. Uh, the wine are pressed directly into barrel and just sets in barrel, again, for about 14 months uh, to taste until we get ready for bottling. Mm -hmm. Then next we will have the uh, 2005 Cabernet. Mm -hmm. This Cabernet is a Bordeaux-style blend. It's purchased fruit all from Sonoma Valley, and all this fruit is mountain-grown uh, Cabernet. When we, when we talk about a Sonoma Valley uh, designation, or Appalachian, the, the Appalachian is defined by the watershed, so it's from the ridge of one peak through the valley up to the ridge of the other. And all the Cabernet and Mount Beck that's in this wine comes from mountainside vineyards with southwestern exposure, so there's plenty of opportunity to get the grapes good and ripe. The 05 is a blend of 75% uh, Cabernet, 25% Malbec. The Cabernet wines spend about 27 months in barrel, where they're uh, racked just before bottling. Even though Three Sticks is a flatland winery, we are a gravity flow winery. Um, all of our tanks and all of our equipment is small enough that we can pick it up with a forklift, move it over to the next to the barrels, or move it over to the next tank, and just gravity flow. Uh, everything. So we don't pump uh, 
any juice or wine. We give it very gentle handling. We want to be as gentle to the wines as we can. The 2006 Cabernet has, is a blend of uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, Malbec, Cabernet Franc, and some Petit Verdot. And uh, I've forgotten the percentages. Sometimes that happens, I think. <laughs> But again, our style is more of a Porto style. Um, as you taste through all of the three sticks wines, I think there's a sense of juiciness and a sense of smoothness that you get through the wines, which is represents kind of a house style for our wines. They're um, they're big wines. There's a lot of flavor. There's a lot of texture in the wines, but they're not cloying or they're not heavy handed, they're really balanced and smooth and uh, even though there's ageability in the wines, they're uh, ready to drink when we release them. We have, uh, one of the benefits we have at Three Sticks is we have a lot of patience. We have patience in the vineyard, we can wait until the grapes get ripe, we have uh, patience in the winery, we can wait until they're ready to bottle, and in the market we have patience because we can release them and sell them when they're ready to drink. Uh, if you have any questions, we'll be around uh, later on to visit all of you and answer your questions. And uh, bon appetit. Thank you very, very much.